Welcome to the channel. First off, we're going to stick to the schedule and blast straight through some sales. And then we're going to go to the charity shop. I need to come clean though. I have already been. And my God, my God, my God. It's not even... It's 9.42. So I was sitting in my living room. I was eating my breakfast, having my little smoothie thing that I have now. And I put a bit of YouTube on. Kaji came up and he popped into the charity shop. And I was sitting there going, it's five past nine. My charity shop's open. Shall I go there first? Nah, I can't bother. Nah. Watching Kaji. Picking up stuff. It's ten past nine. Nah. Can't bother. I'm just going to need to go do my sales first. Then I'll go to the, then I'll go do that after. Finished my smoothie and went, nah, something's calling. Divine intervention struck through my veins and forced me off of the sofa, dragged my ass into the car and drove me to go and get some stuff. And I call this a jackpot. Fantastic. Let's do some sales. I need to take this coat off though. I picked this up yesterday from Vinted. Well, I picked it the other day from Vinted. And I arrived yesterday. And I took a risk on it because the chap had no reviews. He had a brand new account. He had one of those kind of J.12974 usernames. And it was £25 all in. So I was like... And then he sent me a message with a picture of the receipt. And I was like, classic telltale signs. I waited until it arrived. I actually filmed myself opening it just in case. I'll put that in in a second, maybe. I was dubious about this pickup when I was doing the whole deal on Vinted. So I'm hoping I'm not being scammed. I don't think I have. I think I've got what I paid for. Result. As long as there's no damage in that, then we are happy days. It smells clean as well. What the fuck? Have I actually got a... I mean, I paid like 30 quid for it. Everything's fine on that, mate. Beautiful. Everyone's laughing at my headrests. <laughs> uh. But um, no, absolutely sound. I messaged him and said, I'll be honest, bro. I was skeptical. Really appreciate it. Jacket's sick. And it is sick. I'm such a millennial. Sick. All right, Sal's, look. That coat works. Just a little bit gross, isn't it? Let's get some light in this bitch. Okay, let's kick off. We're going to start with Vinted first. We've got a nice little bundle here going out for £22 and... 25 pence and it consists of a pair of jodhpurs one of the steve mcqueen t-shirts that i listed just the other day and also the devil's advocate shirt for those three things we got 22 pounds and 25 pence i think i've already said that to be fair martin has picked up the berghaus top the second one to the one that i kept i actually kept this one i didn't really like the way this one looked on me if i'm honest but it's still a nice top Martin's picked this one up for an offer of 16.64. Cronenberg. So we're going to have a pint over it. We're going to have a pint over it, Martin. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much. The Blakes that I picked up from the charity shop pop-up shop thing the other day. Brand new and unused. I'll say brand new. They're unused. 79 quid. I paid £4 and I listed them as a sell quick thing. Price. I listed them for £4.52 just to move them on. I can't lose money on them. I don't want to break even. I've made 52p. They sold in... 20 seconds. I'm not even joking. Once they were listed, I went ping. I was like, oh, maybe I could have got a tenner out of them. Christopher has picked up the Sonic, Super Sonic controller holder, headphone holder, charger, lights up, USB thing. Chris, let me just warn you, that tail, mate, impale you. Taylor the Impaler. Paid £5 for this from the chap who watches my videos and asked me about the bow. I'm really sorry, man. I forgot your name. You have to remember, there's thousands of you guys' names to remember. You've only got to remember one. All right, so please give me that kind of grace when it comes to it. But I really appreciate the pickup, mate. 18 pound, 18 pound and 52 pence. Big up, Christopher. That also sold for in about five minutes. He said that he was watching my vintage, waiting for it to pop up. Sometimes it just takes me a while to get around to stuff. In fact, most of the time it does. Leanne has picked up the Calvin Klein golf top for a lovely figure of one, two, three, four. This was from the pop-up shop thing. I think I paid £4, £3. I don't even know how much I was getting charged, to be honest with you. But Leanne's picked that up for £12.34. Really appreciate you, girl. On the way to you today. The Pima cotton polo shirt thing that I paid £1 for from the dead-ass car boot sale that I went to a little while ago. Listed it for £16.55. Sold for £16.55. They're all things that I could be getting more money for, but we don't play like that. And I think that's all I've picked for Vinted. There is some more since, but I haven't picked them yet. So I'll save those for 
tomorrow probably, or I'll find a way of stitching them on in a minute. Basically, my laptop's covered. Since I've cut my hair, I've decided to go through my hat collection, and these are the ones that I've managed to actually swindle down, and I'm gonna sell, I'm gonna sell them off. So we've got the Astro World's gonna go, the little camo one's gonna go, the Nike one with the center court is gonna go, Fresh Ego Kid's gonna go, a little bit bobbly. I'm gonna sell this one, it's so cool, but I don't really wear them anymore. Polo Bear's gonna go, it's got like a little, it almost looks like a bleach stain, I can't quite work out what it is. That's gonna go, Fred's Custom Tackle is gonna go. Fresh Ego Kid, I've never worn this, brand spanker. But for some reason, it's got fucking water stain through there. I don't want to go through the effort of cleaning that out. So that's going to end up being sold cheap. Just a reversible Novacek hat and a vintage Nike bucket. How sick is that? Tags are so old, they've worn down. But it's legit. There's nothing wrong with that. So cool. And I've actually kept about 15 caps. So you can imagine how many I had. So they're going to get sold off. Do I have any eBay? Fuck it. Ah, stuff it. Let's have a look see what other vintage stuff there is. See if we can pick that today. Might as well. Oh, I can pause this, can't I? I love that pause feature. We have another Martin who's picked something up. He left a message saying, Hi, Ricky, love the channel. I'm a long-time subscriber. Would you accept £14.22 on the other Barber Steve McQueen t-shirt? And I said, yeah, mate, absolutely, mate. Appreciate that. Thanks, Martin. That was my words. And that's my words again now. I appreciate that, Martin. Thank you so much, mate. On the way to you today. Bam, 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 bam. Bailey has picked up the Nala plush from the Lion King movie musical thing. Thing of me. Six pounds, 21 pence. Hey, Ricky, huge fan of the channel. You've inspired me to start reselling myself. First of all, apologies about that. Been waiting for an item for me to purchase, and this would be a great addition to my collection. Keep the awesome content coming. Bailey. Massively appreciate that, Bailey, my man. On the way to... I keep saying on the way to you. On its way to you today. Thank you, mate. Also, please don't blame me for your grey hair and wrinkles that come early. <laughs> Pikachu! That's not the best accent. £5.55, this is sold for. It's an original Japanese one. It's never been used before. We've got a message here as well that says, Thanks for the great content. You inspire me to keep up the grind. Been listing 15 to 20 items per day for the last week. That's more than I do in a month. And done 300 this month total so far. And I don't plan on slowing down. My store on eBay is hand-picked stuff. Hand-picked stuff. I'll be checking that out soon. Maybe you guys should as well. And this is my Vinted. Vinted is Matt Ipswich. My daughter will enjoy this coin, coin couch. <laughs> my daughter will enjoy this coin pouch. So thanks again. P.S. Timu packaging supplies are where it's at. And it is. I've got loads down there. People think that in a minute when I do those Timu things. I know he's only joking. There's a chap in the comments. But it's like, sponsored by Timu again. If it's sponsored, I'll tell you. They're not, it's just me scrolling Timu. So thank you very much, Matt. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much, Matt. Really appreciate that. I hope you like your hat, even though you bought a coin purse. <sighs> Tasha has picked up the Lego construction key ring for £6.66. Hey, love your videos. Me and my boyfriend watch nightly. Woo. With the resales for the win. Would be great for you to give him a shout out as it's his birthday on the 20th of September. Tomorrow. Ooh. It's actually the same day as my kids. George's birthday tomorrow. Keep up the good work and I hope you like the offer. Devilish offer. 666. So thank you, Tasha and John. A massive happy birthday to you for today or tomorrow, whenever this video comes out. Probably going to be today. So happy birthday for tomorrow, John. What's that all about? And that is actually all the vintage. Do we have any more eBay? Don't think so. Neglected the eBay. Box G. If it's in, re it's in reaching distance, might as well get them. We have sold two very boring water filters for five pounds and eighty-four pence all in. Just moving them on. And that is everything for the sales. Now let's go check out this charity shop trip. My goodness me! So Michael's charity shop. All right. I've just got a massive bag of books for you. Oh, don't you? Oh, <laughs> Only messing. I'm going to have that. I'm going to have that. Just sold one of those, haven't we? Let's get a basket today straight away, shall we? There's another one there. Four as well. Like that. Sorry, mate. Okay. Love 
that as well. And we'll have that. And we'll have that. And we'll have that. Any fucking more? Well, I think we're buying some phones today, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's a load. Oh yeah, lights are on, but there's nobody home. Please, may I put them down the side? I'm so sorry. No, of course you can. Um, I'm, going yeah. get, I'm going to get them all. That's all. Okay. That's that's all. Right. Yeah, that's that's our that's our stuff we're chucking out. So let me put that down the other side. Telephone. You'll be going. Well, madam. Chucking out. That's going. Hello, all right. Else. All right. Can you manage that, love? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bought the last six that you had. Hello. You, Ricky? you all right? It's just trouble, well, I'm getting all them phones. I've been in there a few times and I found a, I found a load. Where do you keep getting them all from? They're all, they're all new as well. Yeah, the last ones I had was. Oh, right. Um, what I'm trying to say is, have you got another, a container full that's about to turn up or something? No, we had, we had two black bags, yeah. Two black bags. If you have, let's just deal with it now. <laughs> I'm going to get out your way now, mate. Sorry, dude. Well, that was a that was a wild start, wasn't it? Top it off with a nice, fat, sick T-shirt. Oh dear. Oh, there's another one. There's got to be more then. That as well. Just found a bloody another one. <laughs> right. Any more bloody the phones out here? Uh, any more phones? <laughs> they, they just keep coming in, do they, Ricky? I'll just keep buying them up. I bought ten today. Right. They obviously come in there and then just get staggered out. Yeah, yeah. I've seen 15. No. That could be good. Kitchen aid. Oh, it's fucking heavy, that. Does it work? Kitchen aid artisan. What is it, electrical day today for me or what? Couple of little raspberry seeds in there, but. I think it's an electrical day for me today. <laughs> you look clear that shelf a wee bit, that's for sure. What I'm going to do is move my car as well. Well, I think that's going to be my lot today. I'm going to go move my car okay. and see if I can find some bags. I'll see you in a second. We struck gold there, didn't we? Oh my goodness gracious me. It's electrical day today. Them phones are normally 20 quid each after waiting until they're reduced to a tenner. They've done the right thing today and they've priced them at four pounds, which means I can just go in and buy them all. Plus that KitchenAid thing, plus that Goodman stereo thing. So I need to go and move the car, find some IKEA bags. Hopefully I've got some in the car because I'm normally that prepared. Then we can go and get them all. Nice. One lonely bag. I perform miracles with just one bag before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay that across the bottom and then lay the rest on top. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to complain about an extra one pounds fifty. Is that everything? Yeah, that's done, isn't it? Yeah, that's that's it. done. I told you I performed miracles in this bag. I almost forgot that, didn't I? 
Yeah, I'll save, I'll save it. Okay, when you're ready. Yeah! Now that is a f***ing score. That thing, I was just carrying it and it split apart from here. I had to, I had to catch it before it dropped on the floor. I said, not today, Satan, not today, not today. I don't told you it was good, didn't I? I love finding this sort of stuff, especially like that. I've been selling through these kinds of phones between 10 and 70 pounds each, depending on what they are. Normally I'm paying 10 pound each for them today, four pound each. So I bought them all. Even if they're worth eight to 12 quid, I'm gonna be all right. I think I sold my last one that I had just the other day. Actually, I found my listing for it when I was searching for prices. So, I don't know the exact prices of all of them. I know for a fact that this one I got £35.99 for, and they are all new, or what do you call it, newer, but that one's still sealed. Can't even open that. But obviously, I'll open it for the picture. But out of that deal, we picked up a response 150. I'm going to estimate 20 25 on that. But the 120, I've got 34 99 So maybe that's going to be about 40 quid. You know, 120 150 kind of, if you work on that kind of level. Can't find this one anywhere, but it's a nice freestyle 1000. I'm going to do a lot of terror peeking on these. I've only done a quick eBay search for the last 90 days on these so far. So I'll do some terror peeking, hopefully before the video comes out. Response 400. Again, if I open this, Oh, that one, that one has been used. But to be fair, I was a bit suspicious on that one because look, it's a bit ratty and tatty. But even four quid pre-owned, that's still decent. That one's sealed, that one's sealed, that one's sealed. We've got a Converse 200. Anything that's had the seal broken, they normally have to open it and pack test it, but look, that's all brand new in there. One, two, three, four, five. So we've got seven in total. We've got a prelude. I want to see if that one's new because this one, it's got bits rattling around in there like bugs have got in there and made a nest or something. What is that in there? Look. I think there's some batches in here that have... Yeah, there they are, look. Exploded batteries. So what we're seeing is battery acid. I can clean all that up. Battery crystals. Yeah, the phone itself is new. Oh, crystals from the batteries. I'm covered in alkaline. Little BT logo there. I'll pack that up again properly later. What's that? And a Freestyle 500. This one has a corded and a hands-free. So four pound each on those, four times seven, 28. 28 pound. I'll get that back on one of them. But that's not all we picked up. This sweet little Goodman's in its original Storophone packaging, but not the outside box. We've got the CD player, brand spanker, brand spanker. GCD609R and some Goodman's speaker so you can play there and some headphones and a power cord. £10 I paid for that. Somebody's asking £19.99 for the Walkman alone in absolutely battered condition. Whether that's even close to the market value, I don't know, but £10 I know is good. I'll probably get £40 out of that if I want to sell it quickly. Or if I do some research and find out it's worth a bit more, we'll go for a bit more. Replaced the car's lamp that I picked up the other day, sold to Kieran. Big up, Kieran. Hope your son likes it, mate. We've got another one now. Paid £2 for that. Get £12 to £15 for those. Not... No, no problems at all. And of course, you saw me pick up the KitchenAid for £10. I have just tested it. It's very freaking heavy, but they are. have just tested it. Everything works perfectly. I need to clean out that berry seeds, whatever's in there. But £10 paid on that. Somebody has managed to achieve 55 but I think that's just because it's a very poor listing. I reckon there's 99 99 out of that. Or I might think about selling the top, selling the lid, or selling the top and the lid. Selling the blender portion once I've cleaned it. Selling the jug once I've cleaned it. And selling the unit. It does look, safety is not an issue here. Don't need no things on top to stop it spinning there. But then again, I suppose, what can that do really? Nothing really, the blade's in there. But 10 pound for that, I'm either gonna break it down or I'm gonna list it for 99.99. The time is 10.25. We haven't even started the day yet. So I'm going to leave the video here. I'm going to thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to everybody who picked something up. And I want to do another giveaway. I do. So let me find something to give away.
By the way, those batteries expired January 1996. That's when they expired. Normally I'd keep them, but they're a bit too far gone for a collector. Anyway, let me find something to give away. This is actually so random, but also how weirdly cool is it? When I do a giveaway, I'm just gonna pick some off my shelves. That's what I'm gonna do. But how cool is that? A lifelike crab. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's on the internet forever now, isn't it? It's just a very, very, very lifelike crab. Look at the detail in that. I thought it was Schleck when I first picked it up, but I haven't found any sign of Schleck on it or Schleich. Schleich. Dogs take it in for a walk. But if you want to have a chance to win Mr. Krabs, Krabby McCrabberson, SpongeBob. If you want to win the lifelike crab, just drop a comment down below and you're in. See you in a bit. Ow! Shithead. <laughs>